Welcome once again to Vlog Vlog. I am your host. Today, I'll be talking about Amazon shutting down Comixology as a separate entity. Amazon has announced that they'll be shutting down the Comixology website in the fall and migrating everything over to the main Amazon website. So, I'm a big fan of Amazon. I'm also a big fan of Comixology. So combining them seems like a great idea, right? Well, no. I think it's a terrible idea and I'm really worried about it. Comixology launched back in 2007 and I've enjoyed it over the years. I like physical comics, but I've mostly moved over to digital comics. The problem that I have with physical books is that they're really heavy and they take up a lot of room. Comixology organizes your comics and makes them easy to read on your web browser. You can go full screen and some books have this thing where you can go panel by panel. It's all really easy, understandable, and straightforward. Amazon doesn't do that. Amazon is a great website to buy stuff, but it's a terrible place if you're wanting to read digital comics. With Comixology, it's very easy to find your comics on their website. All you have to do is click My Books, and they're all just there. With Amazon, it's not intuitive. You have to go to Account, then Content and Devices, which takes you to all your digital content. Clicking on a book takes you to the product page, so don't do that. You have to click More Action, then go to Read Now to actually read the book which is all really confusing and not intuitive at all. From there, you can get to your Kindle library with a few more clicks. However, a major problem that I have is that while all of the books I bought on Amazon show up on Comixology, none of the books that I bought on Comixology show up on Amazon. So unless they fix that, I'm going to lose a lot of my books. I anticipate that they will fix this at some point, but it's still pretty dumb. They've owned Comixology for years now, so it should have been done. However, the bigger problem that I have is with the Amazon Reader itself. It's just not designed for comic books. It's slow and very cumbersome. It has a panel-by-panel option for American comics, But it doesn't work as well as Comixology. The bigger problem is that there's no full screen option. One of the nice things about reading comics digitally is that you can make the pages larger so you can actually read the print. Truly, I don't understand why they would do this. You can already buy books on Amazon. Comixology is just a better website if you're actually wanting to read them. I don't think this is going to get anyone to buy more books. In fact, I think it's going to encourage people to buy less books because now Amazon is forcing an inferior product on people. I kind of feel cheated because I paid to read comics on Comixology, not on Amazon. I know how to use Comixology. It's great. Amazon just sucks at comics. I probably should have started looking into alternatives once I found out that Amazon censors comics for some reason, but it never impacted me since the comics that they are censoring aren't the ones that I'm reading. I'm not sure if there will be an option to get a refund at some point, but I suspect that there won't even though this is a pretty material change. I really hope that I'm wrong and everything works out just fine. I mean, Amazon owns Comixology, so they should be able to fix their terrible reader. I don't know what they're going to do about the organization on their main website because it's just terribly unorganized when it comes to their digital content. I've tried reaching out to both Amazon and Comixology with my concerns. The comic ser- the customer service reps at Amazon didn't know much of anything about the change, and Comixology still hasn't responded to my email. 
if nothing else, it's gotten me to finally look at alternatives. Before all this, I didn't even realize that there were alternatives to comiXology. One such alternative that I've looked at is from Apple, and it's called iBooks. iBooks is a program that's been already installed on my Apple Macintosh, and, you know, it looks pretty good. The samples that I've read seem to work better than both Comixology and Amazon, so I guess if it's a complete disaster, I'll just move on over to iBooks. So those are my thoughts on the subject. Maybe I'm just getting old, but I, I don't want to, all my stuff to change for no good reason. Now, Mr. Bezos, you can build all the phallic-shaped rockets that you want, but please don't take away my ability to read comic books that I bought from you. That's just mean. I want to thank you for listening. This isn't like one of my normal videos, so I'm not sure if this is a good idea or a bad idea still. So just let me know if I should make more videos like this, or if I should just stick on to doing more reviews. I'm just a guy learning how to do stuff on his Apple Macintosh, so there's no reason to take any of this seriously. Thank you again, and I hope you have a wonderful day.